free. Be free. I'm going to make a YouTube video. <laughs> what is good, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be going over every single mod I've done to the car. So performance, maintenance, uh, cosmetic, everything that I've done so far. All right, so first things first, it is an EJ205. It's not a 257, not a 207, just a regular USTM 205 motor. I'm trying to figure out like the best order to do this. So I'm kind of just going to go from like engine bay to interior to exterior maybe just like that i was gonna do like preventative maintenance yada 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 fuck that i can't do it i have really bad adhd so i'm trying to be like eh, eh, eh. what so we got the parent short ram intake pretty self-explanatory pretty straightforward gets the job done i mean a cold air intake would get me more like <laughs> probably but i don't really care about that that's just more tubing for the fucking air to have to travel through which i'm not really all about which is why i have a top mount still granted now i have an sti top mount which is just a little bit wider it's nothing crazy. There's just a lot of small things that I've done. IAG fuel rails that I have and also the 650 CC injectors that I'm running right now currently. I've also got the VF48 STI turbo and a Gretti Type S blow off valve, which I have closed because I hate the way it sounds. <laughs> We're also running the NVIDIA Divorce downpipe, catless, completely catless, and also a Grim Speed completely catless up pipe. And then this little thing right here, it's a bracket to keep the wastegate closed on the turbo because we have an external wastegate, a tile, 38 millimeter. I know, I'm sorry, I'm going through all of this really, really fast, but a lot of this stuff I've, I've made videos on, so like I can totally leave like links, or if you guys want to go through the channel, you can definitely find all the videos I've done on everything. I don't know if I'm, I don't, I don't, I don't think I just said anything about this, but I've got a cylinder four cooling mod back there. You don't actually need it for the 205 motors, I've heard, but I mean, it can't really hurt to have. If it's there, I might as well use it. Oh, I'm also running a uh, Aeromotive, I think it's the EFI, FPR. This entire car has been the biggest learning process, which makes sense. It was an old Subaru that I bought in 2020. For suspension, I'm running the Faction Fab FR spec coilovers, which is more of like their race spec. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm low. But I'm not looking for low, I was just looking for more of like a track fit, which I kind of got. I might go with something stiffer soon, maybe like some Fortunatos, possibly. But that's in the future. I just, these are really nice right now. They actually feel really, really good. And I'm probably gonna do like a, a review for them in like the next like week or two if I can, because like they do feel really nice. And I bought them like six months ago. So I gotta let you guys know how they feel. Yeah, that's pretty much it for the engine bay. 650cc injectors, IAG fuel rails. I've got the parallel lines. I've got the parent AOS over there, the parent short ram intake, the uh, parent silicone turbo inlet, VF48 STI turbo, STI top mount intercooler, Gretti blow off valve, uh, Aeromotive EFI regulator, and I think, uh, I think that was it. Oh, yeah, and the cylinder four cooling mod. But you can't do any of that without oh if i can find the door handle can't do any of that without this guy over here or unless you decide to rip out your ecu and go open source perfect transition though because moving on to the interior first thing you'll notice is that the door cards are not stock i can't tell you where these came from cameron gave them to me actually as like a little gift and i really appreciate him for it because i've loved them ever since these are like alcantara suede red door cards that i have all around then I've also got this singular OMP racing bucket seat, which I like. It's really nice, but I'm probably gonna upgrade to something different. I just bought it impromptu. I was there and I was like, fuck yeah, I want that. So I grabbed it. It feels honestly pretty comfortable, which I don't think is a good thing because it's a racing seat, but it looks nice, looks cool. Makes my car look like a race car. I'm gonna jump in now because it's cold. Don't judge me, I'm wearing pajamas. Now you're probably looking at me like, bro, why do you have a quick release in your daily driven car? I bought it like impromptu, it was an accident, but I, I really just liked the idea of being able to take my wheel off and just take it with me. I thought that was pretty cool. Look at all this space I have to sit here and record and get like better angles and have you guys see how beautiful I am. No, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. <laughs> and look at my horn button. It's, look, love that. Anyways, so this is the Cobb access port. This is their V3 model. They have a V2, which looks like a Game what? Boy, and a V1, which looks like what? something, but I've never seen it, so I can't tell you what it looks like. You can Google it if you want to. If you decide to go this route, this is what you would need to be able to do any of the bolt-on mods or really anything with the motor if you decide to go this route. I'm glad that I have this vent holder now, which I got from Pedro. I've had it for a while, but I didn't really put it in until maybe like 
a month or two or three ago, I want to say. But I love it. It ties it ties it in right there. It looks really cool right there. I can still take it out. It's not like it's stuck there. It's really easy to get in and out. I also painted most of the trim pieces in the car. So I've got red for like the air vents over there and over there. I like the way it looks right now, like with the SCI hazard button being the only thing that's red. That just looks cool to me. But I've also painted the A pillars straight black because it, it just looks a lot cleaner like that. As you see, I kind of fumbled over here. I missed a couple of things. I wasn't really paying attention, doing my best effort, but everything else is black. And then we're gonna get to the headliner. I'm still deciding on whether or not I wanna make it just straight black or do like a starlight headliner. So that's why it's kind of still left the way it is with this dirty, ugly cream color. I've also had this big ass 40 millimeter Gran Turismo style mirror since I bought the car. I was like one of the first things I ever got and I love it. Everyone always asks me why I have it. And like, there, there, there's no specific reason as to why I have it. It's just cool. Like, look, I can see everything, everything. We've got the eye doing head unit, really phenomenal head unit. But one thing I forgot to mention, hi, how you doing? Look at my ugly face. One thing I forgot to mention about this head unit and probably because it wasn't doing it for a while is like it, it, it'll connect to your, your Apple CarPlay, but the screen will be black. Your CarPlay will be connected. Everything will be good. It's just blacked out, but all in all, gray head unit. It looks really nice in the car. It doesn't look out of place. I mean, it does cause it's fucking huge, but it looks kind of cool. We also got this weighted shift knob, courtesy of my buddy Amber, really appreciate it. And then we've also got this really cool Galaxy shift boot I got from uh, my buddy Justin. And it feels really good, again, like I said, going through my gears, especially because I have a Cartboy short throw shifter under this as well. All right, back outside we go. Why did it just get like significantly warmer out? That's crazy. I'm running right now on the Cosmos XT206 or 205. I forgot what they are, but they're, they're Cosmos wheels. I got them for pretty cheap. And I just traded my old wheels for them. For the look that I was going for at the time, I really liked them. Right now, I'm getting kind of bored of them, so I'm definitely gonna go with something different. Also, gross. I know I want like a five spoke wheel, something that's gonna show off like a bigger brake kit because I plan on getting a bigger brake kit. Moving on to the back, I actually changed the tail lights to the 05 tail lights and the bumper. I did not, I actually ended up cutting that, which is why I have a whole other bumper in the garage over there. I just noticed that on the 05, they have a little bubble. I like that because you can have this be the daytime running light. And it, you know, when people are behind you, it looks like a pair of eyes is just staring at you the whole time. This thing, I can't wait to get rid of. It is just some nameless like cannon tip axle back that we had welded on there. I got it from Jake. Um, it's loud, it's cool, but it's very, very drony, very, very raspy. And I want something a little bit more official just so A, it'll look nicer, and B, it'll have a bit of a better sound. I've also got like a bunch of suspension stuff done to it. So I've got like the white line sway bars, 24 mils in the front and rear, including the end links and the bushings and everything. So like my suspension is relatively dialed in. The only thing I haven't done is control arms up in the front and obviously my wheel bearings. Another one of the things that makes this car a little bit different from other Subarus out there is the Subi Savers quarter panel that I have on here. That used to be completely crusted over and pretty much disintegrated and non-existent. Now we've got a nice solid metal foundation under there with some really shitty paint, but it's currently getting worked on. As you guys know, I just haven't been back to Sam's shop in a while. Ah, but yeah, this was a relatively short video. I kind of just wanted to get something out just to let you guys know that I'm trying to get more content out for you. The ride along video that I had planned for you guys got kind of canceled because it rained out yesterday. So we're going to do that probably maybe next weekend, weekend after next. But I hope you guys enjoyed. That's everything I've done to the car so far. Um, there's so much more that's going to be happening, obviously. But as of right now, this is my little blue Subaru. This is what we have done to it. It runs and drives pretty good. It looks OK and it's going to look a lot better by the end of the summer. Thank you all for watching. Make sure to leave a comment, like, definitely subscribe. And again, thank you to all the new people that have showed up. I really appreciate y'all and welcome to my channel. This is my ugly little car. I'm just kidding. She's gorgeous. <laughs> Peace out, y'all, and I'll see you in the next video.